Hello there tubers, it's me AMR and welcome to another Crash Bandicoot video and this in this video we are playing Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped and I will be doing a boss run whether you like it or not because I ain't gonna go through all the levels again because I have already 105 percent in the game basically there's nothing left for me to do apart from show you guys the bosses of this game because they're amazing so without any more time wasting let's get straight to Tiny Tiger the first boss I always wondered who was that sitting at the background in the PS1 version. I really couldn't figure it out because the PS1 version looked really different and it was like a low poly version of it. But now I know it is basically Cortex. But it's time to dance. I love jumping on all that everything, it just looks weird. They're dead. So many people used to struggle with this boss when they first got the game. It's unbelievable. We just gotta look at the pattern of where the lions are not coming. You can't do that glitch again where you stand in that corner and uh, no one can hit you because if you do, you're gonna start throwing cheese at you. I don't wanna do that because it often results in dying. Well, let's see if I can do it. They are about to do it, but I don't want to do it because it's uh, risky of dying. Let's try and defeat all the bosses without dying. So far it's so cool. I'm loving the graphics of this game. It's just too awesome compared to the old ones, obviously. Can't wait for a Spyro game. Spyro is going to be amazing. But I'm actually so like, upset that I finished this game to the max because it's one of my favorite games, dude. Let's move on to the next boss. Next boss is gonna be Dingo Dial. I love this guy's accent in this game. I even what escaped? I can know it. That's what it does. But with my double jump, oh crap! What is going on? This should be easy because he gives you the double jump after you defeat him. So easy. Even if you don't have the double jump. You can still manage to get in there by sliding and jumping. That gives you a higher distance. And there we have it. That was pretty quick. Oh, I love that little pause at the end. And that penguin. You penguins are very, very annoying in the first Crash game. I don't know why I helped you in this one. Can I even knock you down? No, I can't. Get back to the warp room for the third boss. Here is the third boss. I like this guy. A lot of platform. They tried their best to uh, get the accent and voiceover right, like 100%. But one thing that's a disappointment with this boss the sound effects are not the same. They're not the same dude, make the sound sound effects like Crash Bandicoot 3 on the PS1 version. Plus, they don't have the mixing machines that the guy usually has in the PS1 version. They had these lanterns that I used to be like, milkshake machines that I used to call them. But it was actually, um, like you know, something that looked very unique. Damn it, I thought I was about to fall down then, I was a bit too close. Now what has them things turn into? Like some flipping rockets. Lucky the vases. I got quiet when I'm concentrating. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was a close. He's about, he was about to get up. He was about to get up and crack me up. See ya dude, time for the fourth boss. That's my favorite boss. It's Dr. Engine. The PS1 version of this guy used to be very, very fun, but this is actually one of the hardest bosses in the Crash Bandicoot 3 game, in the, in the trilogy. Because they've changed a lot of mechanics. Close to your life, 
you got to be careful because it does not regenerate on the second half of the bottle like it used to. Am I going down or up? I think I'm going up. I gotta love the music. I like the music is untouched. Come on. Destroy something. Finally, one thing destroyed. No! Oh, that was a close one. I was about to like get into his range of fire there. Yes, that's destroyed. His arm is gonna get destroyed in a minute. Like now. Yep, that was right. Now his belly button. These homing missiles are so, 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 so annoying. You have to shoot down every single one of them. And the old one, you can just go left, right, and dodge him somehow. There we go, his belly button over and done with. Come on, Pura. Give me that extra cannon. Let's go. I ain't skipping this awesome transformation scene. But I hate this. These cannons, they give you a lot of them, especially this thing here. You can't dis you can't destroy it. I think you can, but I'm not sure. Never tried it. Right, that's one of the deadly cannons down. Gotta destroy one more. Oh, destroyed that one. Oh yes, destroyed it. Now I've got to stop worrying about them. Apart from the two that are already here. Oh damn it! That's my first damage of the day. Well, I guess I'm still alive, aren't I? I hate the way how the damage uh, shifts the screen and stuff, it's like if you're getting hit. Two more left. One more left. And there we have it. He's down and out as well. It's time for the final boss of the game that has some awesome music. Dr. Neo Cortex is here. I absolutely love that track. It's just so epic. I'm, I'm addicted to it. It just gets you in the mood to like, I don't know. Like gonna destroy some crap up. This boss used to be so hard in the old game, but it seems alright. It is too hard, but I'm guessing, you know, you draw some nice reflexes and you all look. So far, I haven't even died once doing this. Oh my god, did you see that? As I was saying, I didn't die once. That's my first death. Dude, no. That was so stupid of me. As soon as I was about to say, oh crap, you know what? I shouldn't even mention it. You guys would have believed me anyway because you're going to say you chopped up the video and you died. But no, the truth is, look, I died now and I chopped up the video. But yeah, I think I'm going to die a lot in this boss fight. I was saying it's easy, but sometimes it's hard. That little thing sucks him in. But I missed one animation in this fight. When he goes down and he comes back up, he has explosions on his face. That's not there anymore, look. I'm guessing he goes down with the shield, that's why. Well, how does that even hurt him? I have no idea. The spin! They're spinning, come on. Cortex, you need to spin as well, Neo. Neo Cortex, you die. You need to spin, dude. Whoa, that was a close one. Dude, you need to spin, I'm telling you. It's not cool. It's only me and the masks that are spinning. If you spin, it's gonna be much more cooler. Like that. You spin like that. Spin, dude. Spin. Ooh, that was a close one. I was his butt come back up. Oh, that guitar though, that flipping guitar, absolutely beautiful. Right, these two masks are gonna go crazy now, I absolutely hate when they do that. You gotta flip and be careful of this. Plus, I think it's a new and improved system that the masks can detect your position. Look, because they always go and blow up that position. 
And the old ones under the East Upper used to be random positions. Check that one out. And the final boss, guys, is going to be down and out soon. Now, there we have it. That was all of the final bosses for Crash Bandicoot and same trilogy. Well, not, well, not the entire trilogy, but Crash Warp. And as a bonus, we'll get to see the bonus cutscene. Twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. Damn graphics. Look at Nathan Drake next to the flower pot. That's an Easter egg. Yep, get stretched, dude. Get stretched. That's the secret ending, guys. You only get the ending if you get all the gems and crystals. That's it for this video guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to comment on what you would like to see me do next. Stay awesome and keep watching my videos. Peace out.